Hi, this is a, a Arduino project that actually demonstrates uh, many elements of an Internet of Things. Um, it has sensors, in this case I have a light sensor, uh, temperature sensor, LED, uh, not exactly sensor. Um, it has a Wi-Fi shield, um, it's got a link sprite. So the board uh, will send sensor status to the cloud. So the cloud, we're going to enable uh, controls from mobile phones and then viewing sensor stats from the phone. So we're going to demonstrate all that. And specifically, um, we're going to demonstrate, uh, in the end, we're going to demonstrate two super cool features. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep them secret. You will see them later. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, Connect to the power, and uh, the board starts up, and it's going to try to connect to the Wi-Fi, um, get IP address, all this, all that. It's going to take a little bit of time, so let's get going. Okay, so um, board is talking to the cloud. Now let's, uh, before we demonstrate cloud and mobile features, let's look at the, some of the local features. First of all, we have buttons. You can turn on and turn off. Um, turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. Um, that seems to be working. And uh, we have a light sensor. Um, it should be working. Okay. <laughs> and uh, turn on, turn off. Um, meanwhile, um, we got we got data already sent to the um, to the cloud. So let's take a look. So we're gonna just we're just gonna use a mobile phone to take a look what is there. Um, I hope we can see it very well. So those are the some of the data connected to the cloud. Um, this one shows the temperature, and uh, it's around 70 degree. And this is a brightness, and this is measured as a number between zero to uh, 1,024, I believe. Um, so. We're continuing connecting data. Um, now we're going to show um, how to use mobile app uh, to control um, through the cloud to control the lighting. So we will see there's a HTML5 app here. It's already pre-configured. Um, you can see it shows the some data um, where the time, the brightness, and the temperature, and the current LED status. So let's say we're going to uh, turn on um, the light. Notice there's going to be uh, quite a bit of delay because uh, we're using polling method but light is turned on that's good news and uh, we should see LED status change pretty soon um, as we can see now it's turned uh, became so um, now I promised earlier we're gonna demonstrate two cool features here is is one um, I think many people knows what this is. This is uh, Amazon Echo, and uh, um, it's it's a device made by Amazon that can recognize voice and do the control. So let's give it a try. Alexa, ask Arduino to turn off light. We will turn off light for you. All right. 
I recognize the voice. Let's see if the lights get torn off. Indeed, magic. Let's try it again. Alexa, ask Adrino to turn on light. We will turn on light for you. All right. It works like charm first time. Uh, sometimes it has. Uh, it's not very stable as a demo system, but it does work this time. Now I promised I demo two cool features. Uh, the next one is this. Okay, so let's go back to the list and we notice temperature is around 70 degrees so I will uh, I will press the thermistor to increase the temperature so that uh, to make the temperature go as high as um, 87 degrees and when that happens I got a phone call from Arduino wake up June wake up your house is on fire your house is on fire the device just made a phone call to my phone that's what happened all right, it's calling me again because I think the temperature is still pretty high. Wake up, June. Wake up. Your house is on fire. Your house is on fire. I think that's enough. Um, oh, come on. Wake up, June. Wake up. Your house is on fire. Your house is on fire. I think that's it. All right. That's it for now, and uh, see you later.